Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part three of the ultimate guide for scum in 2023. And just a quick little um, flex here to the other players on TI. I visited two farms. You guys saw me looting the first farm. I didn't show you um, the second farm that I looted, but I showed you when I went into that other farm area. And I've already got 18 bolts with visiting two little farmlands, which took me about 40 minutes, okay? So, I might be selling the bolts later in the game, or I might just be showing you guys where to get all the bolts, okay? But we're off to a great start, guys, and the reason that I didn't go directly for the big city is because I don't know where you guys are going to spawn. I don't know where you guys want to build a base, okay? So, if you're not near this area, if you're here, then it doesn't help me telling you to just go always go to the big city. That's why it's better for you to watch my 100 advanced tips, you know, my 100 tips. That, not the beginner's one, but the advanced one, where I show you what I focus on with all the points of interest on the map. But, again, have to keep this video short, which is um, something that I'm not used to, you know, I don't like to cut a lot of the things that I'm saying, like I did cut me looting the second farm, that's why you guys didn't see me getting the bolts, that's why you guys didn't get any important information that I said there, um, so yeah, we're going to try and keep the videos as short as possible. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here to this little tent area. There's various tent areas in the game. Th this is one. Um, at the shooting range, there's another one. There's another one. Um, here is another one. Okay, there's various tent, military tent areas in the game, and you can get night vision there quite easily. They are damaged, but at the end of the day, nighttime is going to be a big part of the game. So it's important to focus on that. So let's see if we can get lucky and we're quickly going to go there, okay? Because I've got the thread, I just need a bow needle from a puppet when I, which I can get very easily. Yes, I can get scrap metal there, but I know for a fact I can get scrap metal there, okay? The two best places to farm scrap metal is the big city and the scrapyard. So let's just go there for now. Just an important tip when you're drinking water from a clean water source. What I mean by clean water source, dark blue water. Never drink water from the light blue, that's salt water. Only the dark blue is clean water. And your body, in this game, your body doesn't need more than 400 milliliters of water, okay? So I'm only, I'm at 50% water right now. Like, I don't need to drink more than twice, okay? But I'm drinking three times. So if my water is really, really good, um, like at 80%, I'm only going to drink from the water source once. I don't want to pee myself constantly, okay? I don't, want my I don't want my bladder to fill up fast so that I have to, so that I, so that I get the warning to, um, you know, let it go or to go pee or something like that. If I've got no water, I'll drink four times. Okay, so if your water's at zero, drink four times from a fresh water source. If your water's at 25, three times, 50, two times, 75, one time. Okay, just a quick little tip there for you guys. Okay, I've killed two puppets on my way to this place. I have to chop the puppet up to get a bone. And with a bone, I'm going to make a bone needle. Okay. Um, I put my good arrows at the bottom. I want to prioritize my wooden arrows because the more shots, the more times you hit a puppet, the more XP you get, okay? The less you hit it, the less XP you get. So, because we're leveling up our archery skill, okay, we want to do that as much as possible. And now we can make the sewing kit. And with the sewing kit, we can repair the shirt, you know, the, the jacket, the shirt. As soon as we get a red spot there, we want to repair that. And as soon as we get good boots, okay, we want to repair the good boots. Always remember to pick it up. Very important, okay, to pick it up. Um, I'm just thinking to myself here, a quiver will be nice, but I'm not going to focus on that right now. Okay, so we're going to get the arrow of the year. And like I say, 
you know, if you put the if you put the uh, the the good arrows at the bottom, it's not going to prioritize those arrows. If you feel you're in a si sticky situation, then you know, put the put the good arrows up top again. Um, but for now, it's going to prioritize the wooden arrows. So this is the Kent site that I'm talking about, and we're just going to quickly scan through it to see if we can get some night vision. And then I'm going to show you guys how to get gear. I mean, that's the that's the title. That is the title of part three, isn't it? So, like I say, I can I can control the aggression here. You know, if I feel threatened, I'm always going to go for a headshot. I'm never going to go for experience if I think I'm going to end up in a sticky situation. If it's a controlled situation like this. I'm definitely going to go for experience. Three leg shots and one headshot. And this is a dangerous place, so we can't get too comfortable here. Anywhere where you can get uh, military loot is a dangerous place. But again, if I can just hear and see one puppet, I'm going to maximize my experience that I can get from him because someone can kill me but they can't steal the experience that I'm gaining okay all the skills that you are gaining persist you don't lose it when you die again I've got one puppet there yes it is a dangerous area but I like to focus on my on my skills when I start now I can farm that guy, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sort out this guy. I don't want I don't want to play with too many puppets at the same time. And I'm already already hearing another puppet. You can hold in focus mode, but your my awareness skill isn't very high at the moment. The the higher your awareness skill, the more ambient sound you cut away. So yeah, we just want to get this guy's attention. Farm him quickly. There are bodies here. So anyone that comes here will know that someone's in the vicinity, which gives them an advantage over us. Okay, but like I say, even if they kill us, they can't take they can't take our experience away. Okay, so uh, let me just get into this tent, repair this quickly. And every 20% you repair takes a use of the sewing kit. Um, that isn't very good management over there. And I'm wondering if I can put this one thing there. Yeah, I can put this one thing there. Okay, just to play a little bit of Tetris. And when it comes to the tents, guys, I'm not full of nonsense. I just press tab. Okay. Go to the one side of the tent, press tab. Go to the other side of the tent, press tab. Almost looks like this place has been looted. There's nothing on the tables. Uh, so, yeah, not lucky at the moment. Definitely not lucky. And since someone... Whenever I get a feeling someone's been in an area, um, I don't really want to stay here. You know? Yeah, we're not finding anything. So the chances that it's been looted is high. The fact that the loot hasn't respawned tells me that someone can still be in the area. Because for loot to respawn, someone needs to be further than 50 meters away from the spawn point for more than 30 minutes. Okay? But we just we did just have an update. Uh, a new update. And people have told me that items aren't really spawning on the ground. So it could be that as well. I'm thinking it's that. Like th this, this, these places are absolutely fantastic for night vision. Okay. But what we're going to do now, you guys can see our water is good, but our food isn't good. Okay. And I know right above, right above, right north of the, of that place is a cornfield. So I'm going to get some corn, get my food going, and then I'll meet you guys in the big city. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I am in my favorite flat in Samabor city okay i call this it's like if any of you have watched two and a half men i call this my egyptian cotton bed 
Okay. Um, unfortunately, I think it's night time at the moment. Yeah, it's night time at the moment. Okay. So I already went through the town, but I went through the town when the loot when the loot didn't spawn. So I did record it, but all we found because nothing spawned on the ground, all we found was a carbon hunter. And maybe the no, we already had the helmet. I think we just found a carbon hunter, guys. That's about oh, oh, and the Viper revolver. Okay. And maybe that site. But I didn't want to show you guys um, the big city loot run like that. I want you guys to understand how, how good the city loot run is, okay? So I entered from this side of the city, okay? I entered from here. If you're on that corner, then there's a sign there saying sanitarium. You can go right to the sanitarium. What I do is I run past i run around the left hand side of the sanitarium there's like a brick pathway that i take up then i go right there's the chinese shop then i go to the next chinese shop over here um but i'm gonna do the route that i went that i took from year to year i'm gonna now take from year to year okay so you can either come in from the north um east side or you come in from the southwest side okay we're gonna do this route from the northeast side uh, um, so we go, we're going to start, I can't see a lot, I'm just going to change my um, video that I can see a little bit more. So we're just going to, I'm just going to come down here, and there is basically the, if you look there, right there, there is the first hunting shop, okay? So we're just going to go down here. And uh, one of the players on TI has prepared a mountain bike for me, okay? Um, I think he said he left it at the garage. Um, I told him I will build up a vehicle myself, but he's, you know, he said the, the dirt bike is there. So it's just going to help with a guide, okay? We're basically just doing a guide here. Uh, but I will show you guys how to build up a vehicle. And this is very, very important. The loot on the ground in Samabor city is insanely important okay insanely important that's why i didn't want to give you guys the video when i couldn't see the loot on the ground okay most of your loot that you find in Samabor city is going to be on the ground so there's a crossbow for you if you want to use a crossbow okay you can get various kinds of loot here we already found nine more ammo from the hunting shop, we're just going to, yeah, we're just going to jog to the, there's the hunting shop, here's the statue, we're just going to go to the first gun shop, and the gun, the three gun shops in Summerborn City is definitely the three things that I want you to focus on. If you want fast guns and fast inventory space, then the, the, the gun shops is the place to come. Okay, the, the percentage chance that you're going to find an assault backpack here is extremely high. The chance that you're going to find like a shotgun, a shotgun is very, very high. Uh, AK or something isn't that high, okay? We've already got a knife. Um, a bayonet is very useful, but we're not going to take the bayonet. So yeah, the three gun shops is, for me, the best three locations in Summerbor City at the moment. Okay, there's a Giga counter, which we're not going to focus on now. That's Birdshot, quite weak. That is SVD ammo. That is extremely important. And I wanted to say I've probably got a backpack here. Yeah, I just wanted to say I've probably got a backpack. And we can put that on because it's nighttime now just to get a little bit more inventory space. Okay. There we go. There we get a Carbon Hunter magazine. And now, when we come out of the, the gun shop, we want to take quite a safe route. So a safe route is just running to this road, the athletics track. Okay, the athletics track is right there. I am making quite a lot of noise, but it's fine. So I'm just going to run 
down with the athletic track on my right. The there is a police station that side. There is a basketball court. But um, we're not going to focus on the basketball court yet. I want to show you guys how to loot this place as fast as possible and take as little as possible risk. Okay? It is unfortunate that it's nighttime now, but at least you guys can see way more than me. Okay, so we're just going to run down until we hit the river. The garages are going to be in front of us now. But again, I'm looking for an assault backpack and guns now, okay? The title is how to get gear. There's garages, which can give you, give you various loot. We're going to run past the garage. Going to run through here. And I'm basically running... Okay, I still need to get that compass. I can't believe I haven't gotten the compass yet. That is bad, man. That is bad. There's such a lot of vehicles here. Such a lot of vehicles. Okay, so we're going to run through here. There is the, the marketplace, okay? The, the, the right here is where the, the, the supermarket is, okay? For food and stuff like that. So just going to regain our stamina in case we run into a person. So here is the second hunting shop. Luckily, no suicide puppets here, which is a little bit weird. But again, there's a toolbox. And now we want to start putting our light loot. We want to put all the heavy stuff in our backpack, okay? Now, this thing can't carry much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put the money there because that stuff isn't very heavy. Um, and I'm just going to drag all the light items to where they can go, okay? A toolbox is important, guys. A toolbox is important. There's a shotgun, okay? Luckily, we found a shotgun. And we will find... I, I truly, truly believe that we will find a shotgun ammo, okay? Usually, you find the... And there's a weapon repair kit. That's insane. Um, usually, you find shotgun ammo in the gun shops, okay? But like I say, it's worth it just looking through these two, these two hunting shops, okay? And from the hunting shop, you're just going to go straight down this road. If you ever, if you ever looking for bobby pins, these two supermarkets left and right is very, very good for bobby pins. Do we have any bobby pins? No, so we can use. I'm just gonna quickly get a few bobby pins. If you go right here, you're going to the super, the the basketball court. But apparently, these little shops have food. Okay, but I'm I'm more interested in the bobby pins. There's an egg, but I, we have got yeah. There's bobby pins, so I'm just gonna grab two boxes of bobby pins over here. These places are really, really, these two little, these two little shops are really, really good for bobby pins. And as you see, I'm using tab because I, I can't see anything. I can see something. Do you guys understand what, what I mean? I'm a little bit blind here. Okay. There's milk. That is good. That is good. Where can we put the milk? Um, we can put those arrows there. And then we can put the milk there. Milk is very, very good since my perfect diet is corn flakes, kiwi, and milk. So milk is really, really good. Duct tape is important, but there. Okay, we got 40 bobby pins. If you guys ever want bobby pins, that's the way to get it. So we're going to keep on going down this... No, we're going to keep on going down this road. That way is the basketball court, and there's a clothing shop over there. I'll go to the gas station later, guys. I just want to make the video as short as possible. So here's the other gun shop. Okay, it's like a three-way over here with a bunch of cars. Now that I'm talking about cars, I'm going to get the scrap metal here. I'm going to get the scrap metal. I think we've got enough now. Have I, have I got anything that weighs zero kilograms? Hmm... That weighs zero kilograms. I can put that there and I can put that. No. Oh, the suicide pump is just spawning. Okay, so I don't have a problem with the suicide pump. So I just want to see if there's anything in here that I'd like to grab. Oh, there's a lot of suicide puppets. So we're getting out of here. We're definitely getting out of here. 
Now, if you shoot him in the head, you can try and defuse him. Yeah, if you shoot him in the leg or the chest, he's going to explode. Just be careful. If they get too close to you, they can hurt you quite badly. Like there. Okay, that was a little bit too close. Okay, a little bit too close, but we're fine. We're fine. It's two C1s, we're fine. All of them came running out. I don't think I missed anything, but usually, usually there's just one suicide puppet and that, that's, it's very, very important. You see, there's the assault backpack. So getting the, I was lucky that all of them came out because on T, on TI, my members only server, um, like I said, TI is a mixture between Meat Grinder and Survival Evolved, okay? It's a lot more PvE focused. So that's why I say, guys, it's almost guaranteed that you can get an Assault Backpack, okay? Almost guaranteed. An Assault Backpack is the second best backpack in the game. You can see we're getting a lot more slots. Um, and yes, we need to heal ourselves, but it's not... It's not really an issue at the moment, okay? It's C1s, so we're going to be fine. And um, now we can search the place, of course. And uh, like I say, probably going to find a shotgun, probably going to find some shotgun ammo, okay? Um, yeah, we can eat that, why not? I hope you guys can at least see something. And you can, oh, you can search these, there's the shotgun. Okay, there's a shotgun, just like I told you guys. Okay, gun shops, really, really, really good. You can search these open um, gun gun containers. Okay, you can search them. And this is how you get geared. This is how you defend yourself. Okay, I got a carbon hunter. So if I get carbon hunter ammo, I can kill anyone from a distance. I can snipe someone now. I can shoot someone at close range. Uh, there's the peacekeeper. We can take the peacekeeper, salad, or whatever the case may be. Uh, but yes, the city is. Well, there's there's an eagle. The city is really really good, guys. The city is extremely good. Like it's by far the best starting location. Okay, and if I remember correctly, didn't we collect the three five? Yeah, we collected that ammo. Um, now we are going to triple carry here, but I can make the bow whenever I want. I don't really care about the bow. Okay. I can make the bow whenever I want. So we're just going to drop the bow and now we're going to take the deagle and we're going to load it with a round because the deagle does a lot of damage. Okay. When we run into a puppet, we don't want to make a noise. So we're going to add the, the Bushman to our quick slot. Okay, so we can kill a puppet with, uh, with a Bushman. You don't want to make any major noise, like the suicide puppets that exploded made noise, but you don't want to really want to shoot. You don't... You don't want to shoot unless... Unless you're gonna... Unless you're killing a player, okay? Because people can hear you shooting, from miles away. Okay. Basically anywhere in the city they can hear you from. And I think we dropped... Did we drop the deagle? No, we didn't drop the deagle. Okay, so I'm going to add the deagle to my quick access as well. I'm going to press 3 to put the Bushman back to where it was. So the Bushman went back to where it was. And now I just want to finish this quickly for you guys. I know it's dark, guys, but I've got the filter on for you. And I'm showing you a speed route, okay? A route that's going to take me about 20 minutes. And like I say, TI is very PV, PvE focused. And these guys do a lot of damage. These guys do a lick of a lot of damage. And there's a lot of them. There's definitely a lot of them, so I just have to think here. I have to think on my feet really, really quickly. Really, really quickly. Because I'm going to run out of stamina now. Yeah, this is going to get dangerous really, really quickly. And they hit really, really hard. Okay, extremely hard. 
I don't really want to move here because there's there's puppets in here that are sleeping. Okay? But yeah, that's why I say I love I love TI guys. TI is definitely my kind of server. That's why it's a members only server. Um, and and I and all my servers are different. But this is a really, really good mix for me. Um, perf yeah, perfect server performance, everything is perfect. But I think I've got a C2. Yeah, I think I've got a C2, so I need to make a plan now. I need to make a plan. So I think I'm going to cut a mask. A mask is good to cut up into rags as well. We could have died there. Yeah, we could have died there. But we took our chances. Okay, so the C2 is done. I've got two constitution. I've got two constitution. So I am going to struggle with an infection. But for now, I just want to... Yeah, I'm just going to lie down, guys. And I don't want to make any noise, okay? If you don't want to make any noise, you crawl. Okay, now that we're sitting with a bunch of injuries, every time you get injuries, you will see where the injuries took place, okay? So I've got an injury on my... Um, Left arm and my left forearm. Left arm, left forearm, okay? Got an injury on my chest, got an injury on my neck, and I had an injury on my head. So you guys will see, if you look at my character, I took all the clothing off of the injured places and I removed the bandages, the rags that I used on that one wound. Because even the bandage, if it's not a purified bandage, if it's not a septic bandage, it will still add external pathogens, okay? So the external pathogens combined with the wound germs um, increases the infection quite fast, okay? So I've been lying here for about four minutes now. And because I took all the clothing off the parts, that could get infected, I've got zero external pathogens. So even with two constitution, if you've got patients, you can you can still heal the wounds, like these two, okay? These two were at 5%. They're going down because I've got zero external pathogens, and while I'm lying down, my wound germs are decreasing as well. The wound germs were very, very high. They were at like... 2% or 1.5% or something like that. So the longer I lie here, because I've got no clothing over the wounds, the wound germs are getting less, and I've got no external pathogens, okay? And as soon as this contamination goes to zero, this will disappear. As soon as this one goes to zero, it will disappear. So even with two constitution, if you... Don't want to go into an abandoned bunker because if I if I struggle with infections, I'll go to an abandoned bunker and open depositories for um, antibiotics. But that's going to be later in the in the series. So I'm just giving you a tip now. If you followed my build and you you've got two constitution, then you you're going to have to take your clothes off and be patient. And that's one thing that the tree immersion does teach you is patience. Because um, if we were a little bit more patient, um, we could have taken out the puppets one by one, okay? But because I'm running through the town to try and keep the video as short as possible, um, I attracted a lot of puppets. So, you know, that's one thing I love about Tree Immersion. It teaches you patience, which will help you on normal servers a ton. Because on normal servers, your threat level won't be so high, but true immersion will definitely teach you patience, and it helps you to immerse yourself. Nobody runs through a town when there could be people that want to kill you, okay? If you go and watch um, The Last of Us, you know, or any survival, any survival um, movie, no one's running all the time, okay? So it definitely, definitely helps you with immersion. And you guys can see now the... The, the, you know, my wound is cleaning up nicely now because the wound germs are even becoming less. Okay. So I'm fighting the infection much, much faster. And like I say, 
once the the wound germs hit zero, okay, um, this will disappear. And I'm all, already at full health. Now, if you want to do this faster, then having alcohol on you is good. Or using alcohol on on rags to make them aseptic rags. But like if I had the time, I would have looked for alcohol and then I would have cleaned the wounds with the alcohol. And the alcohol will get rid of the will get rid of the um the internal wounds, you know, the internal, the wound germs, so that you get rid of the infection faster, okay? But for now, it's fine. There's no more infection here. Um, this is on my arm, so I think, okay, this will infect my arm. That won't affect my arm. That won't increase the infection. The backpack and the quiver won't in increase the infection. I think if I put these two on, they might increase the infection because this is going to go over my arm. There. Okay. There's the infection again. You see, the, now you can see the external pathogens are at 0 0.6 because of these two items that is going over my arm. Okay. There you guys can see. I've got clothing on my arm, and the clothing is affecting is affecting the germs. Okay, um, but I think yeah, my immune system immune system is still countering it, so it's not that bad. Okay, I'll take the sunglasses again. And the bar is not a bad place to get alcohol, but the thing is we still have to get out of here. That's the big thing. We still have to get out of here. So I'm just going to quickly look for alcohol. I, I haven't heard a player. I don't, think, I don't think a player is near me at the moment. Just going to jog a little bit, see what's on the tables. There's water. Water's going to help us. And I did eat, guys. You can see I ate all the potatoes and everything while I was lying on the floor. Okay, so I'm just going to check the tables quickly. There's milk. There's a knife. There's a pot. There's a ton of puppets outside, so the danger level is still very, very high. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to the other fridge. I'm going to try and, da and dangerous move quickly. I can probably kill them like this. Okay. I, I just don't like hitting puppets through stuff. Personally, I don't like hitting puppets through stuff. Um... So if I feel I can still, like, in real life, I feel I can still stab this guy. Okay, as long as I can convince myself that I can get to them for real. Okay, that's fine with me. But that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to run. Oh, my word, I forgot about the sidewalk, guys. You're gu you can't walk up a sidewalk for some reason. Going to open this. Going to close it. Okay, and now I'm gonna kill them. I feel I can stab all of them through here. And I think I attracted all the puppets in my area. Oh my word. 
I think I attracted all the puppets in my area because I shot a gun. And now we're gonna have oh my word, now we go okay, that shirt is buggered because it went below um twenty percent. I'm only gonna be able to repair this shirt up to fifty percent now. I'm only gonna <coughs> only go okay, my shirt's busted, okay? So not only do they damage you, um they damage your clothing as well. Okay, I've got a bunch of she ones there. Um I just have to do what I did last time, you know, remove all my clothing and I'll be fine. But we're gonna look for some clothing now. We'll see what we can get here. This is the tool shop. You can get screwdrivers and bolts and everything. That will help me to create to craft a bow. I think I definitely need a bow. Definitely think I need a bow. Okay, so I'm gonna see what's over here. There's still one puppet over there. Oh my word, and those puppets just flew somewhere. So I'm gonna see if I can take this puppet on. I don't have a lot of <coughs> stamina. And if she hits me again, I'm dead. <coughs> and that's what you call living on the edge, guys. That's what you call living on the edge, okay? Um, it's only C1s. I am losing health, but I'll be fine. But I really hope there isn't any suicide puppets in in the in the next in the next hunting shop. And there's another puppet there. I'm gonna have to try and be silent now. And there's suicide puppets in there. I want to trigger. Actually, I don't know what they're going to blow up, but I can't run. And I don't have painkillers. The one way you can make sure that you can still run is with painkillers. But I want to trigger all the suicide puppets. Just give them time to explode. And how much ammo do I have for the deagle? Two rounds. I think I'm going to risk it. I think I'm going to risk it. Okay, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I thought I attracted all the puppets, but I was clearly wrong, guys. I was clearly wrong. I was clearly wrong. I was clearly wrong. I can't see myself surviving this. I cannot see me surviving this. And the only thing we can do is do a random spawn. Okay. So I hope you guys found that helpful. I hope you guys can see how exciting tree immersion is. Remember, you can join it for as little as $5 a month. And um, yeah. I'm looking where I am. There's a town above me. There's a little farmland over here. And there's a car over there. So, yes, one of the community members did leave me a dirt bike, guys, at the at the city. Okay? But I'm sure we'll be able to build up this car. And um, this car has got two wheels. Um, it needs a battery. I think it needs an alternator. It needs a driver's seat and it's not locked. Okay? So if you guys enjoyed this, um, do me a favor and click the like button. Okay? I'm doing this as naturally as possible, giving you guys the real treatment. The fact that I'm trying to keep the video short is definitely having an influence. You know, like... That's usually why I make hour-long guides, because I want to give you guys all the information and the entire experience. Um, but do not worry, when Scum 1.0 releases, I will make the best guide I've ever made, because I'm making notes. From my first guide, like two years ago, 
I'm making notes. Of course, those notes are changing as the spawns are changing and as the game is changing. But the final, my ultimate guide to let everyone enjoy this game when it comes out in full release won't be me playing through the game like this. It will be me just um, using admin powers and just explaining everything to everyone, you know, as fast as possible. So that guide will definitely expose scum to as many people as possible. But, you know, I'm giving you guys a real experience. And this, the city is great, guys. There's a hunting shop there, um, you know, over a year somewhere. Um, there's a hunting shop. Then there's the gun shop. Then there's the other hunting shop. Then there's the other gun shop. There's two gun shops. Okay, we went through, we went to two gun shops. The third gun shop would have also had awesome loot. Um, and then the other Chinese shop is here. You know, when you go across here and you follow this path, then you'll find the other Chinese shop there. If you keep on going down the road past the bar, you'll find the other Chinese shop where you could find Dawa swords that you can sell for three and a half thousand or just chop up puppets like they are nothing. So this is where you get geared, okay? Um, when you spawn an, an other, if I spawn here, then I have to look at what's the closest points to me. Clearly, this is the closest point to me. So that's where I'm going to go to get geared. If I spawn here, then this is still the closest point for me. If I spawn over here, then, you know, the scrapyard is an option, but I'm probably going to go to um, a bunker. Okay, probably going to go to a bunker or still going to go there. You know, so th this is a big POI. Um, the naval base is a big POI. The two airfields are a big POI. And the barracks over here is a great POI. This Hollywood sign thing over here is a good POI. There are a lot of points of interest which you can go to scummap.com and just look at the points of interest. The mo motocross track is a good point of interest. Any big city is a good point of interest, but this is by far the best point of interest. So if you die and you spawn anywhere close to the big city, go for it, guys. It's worth the risk. Love you all. Have a great day. See you guys later. Cheers.